That's the old school version. Oh, right yes, it is. <laughs> Rembrandt. Max is in with the A to Z of shit music. How are you going? No, I'm going very well, thanks. As I was just telling you off air, Doctor, that mm-hmm. song by the Rembrandts, uh, which was, of course, uh, the theme for Friends back in the day, not actually written by the Rembrandts. It was written by uh, just a, a production team and originally uh, pitched to R.E.M., and R.E.M. turned it down, and that's where the Rembrandts oh, so came they just in. just went down the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> ba- basically, if yes. Rembrandt said no, they were going to go to, oh, I think it's something funny, can't Re- do it. <laughs> Real big fish. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been up the alphabet. But nonetheless, well done. All right, now, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, uh, look, it's we're up to I today in the alphabet of mm-hmm. music, and um, we, 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 we're going to take a look. There was only one band that, that, that I could do, really. Insane Clown Posse. I've got to be honest with you. At first, I felt bad about ragging on Insane Clown Posse because by this stage, making fun of Shaggy, Too Dope and Violent J is less like shooting fish in a barrel and more like reaching into the barrel, <laughs> plucking the fish out, nailing it to a target and shooting it execution style at point-blank range. Uh, what can you say about this band that hasn't already been said? Two chubby white dudes who dress up as evil clowns and make terrible rap music for subhuman white trash to listen to while they're eating cheeseburgers and breeding like cockroaches. That's lolzy without need for any input from me. But then I heard their new song, Miracles, and since there's literally nothing funnier than stupid people trying to be insightful or profound, I thought I'd do them anyway. If magic is all we've ever known, then it's easy to miss what really goes on. But I've seen miracles in every way, and I see miracles every day. Now, this, I, I'm, I'm just going to jump in there, and before we get moving for the rest of the Insane Clown, pos, insane clown Posse, out of shit music, I'm going to suggest a language warning. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Now, Triple J, strong language alert. Triple J. Triple J. This song is like the insane clown posse version of that whole God must be real because look at all this beauty around us idea. Here's an example of that now. Niagara Falls and the pyramids. Everything you believed in as kids. Fucking rainbows. After it rains, there's enough miracles here to blow your brain. (laughs) If that doesn't make you stop and think, I mean really think, then maybe magnets will. Water, fire, air. Dirt. Fucking magnets. How do they work? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But I've never been allowed to think about it until now. Oh, people are afraid to question magnets. And it's insane clown posse's fearless attitude to the tough questions that made them counterculture heroes of the 1990s. Back then, people were too scared to ask what would happen, for example, if untalented rednecks stopped playing Leonard Skinner covers, uh, covers and started playing rap. They were too scared to ask what would happen if those rednecks then started an annual music festival called Gathering of the Juggalos featuring wet T-shirt competitions, wrestling and circus rides. Uh, it turns out rednecks love it when other rednecks rap and they love hanging out with other rednecks so much that the Gathering of the Juggalos just had its 10th anniversary. Psychopathic Records presents to you the massive family reunion that brings together the most misunderstood people of all time. It's the 10th annual Gathering of the Juggalos. Calling Juggalos the most misunderstood people <laughs> of all time feels wrong. I mean, that, that's got to be what, like, Scientologists or, or vegans, right? Mm. But I guess they know what they're talking about. This year, the 10th annual promises to be bigger, badder, and better than the nine previous years. Is that even possible? Guess what? It is possible. If you've never been to the gatherings, this is the motherfucking year to go, bitch boy. (laughs) Well, I've been told. (laughs) Back in 2000, uh, when the gathering of the Juggalos started, Insane Clown Posse was still all about being insane. They used to write songs about rape, murder, and torture, stuff that an actual posse of insane clowns might do. One of their best-known tracks was called Another Love Song, and it was ironically titled... Oh, wait, sorry, that's the bit where he's still being sweet. Uh, Roll the next clip. It's like teardrops by Massive Attack. (laughs) (laughs) 
But back then, Insane Clown Posse released songs called things like Chicken Hunting and Santa's a Fat Bitch. They were shit, but at least they cared about pretending to be insane. Now, they're totally olds. They're in their, in their late 30s with children and they're beginning to act less like insane clowns and more like the out-of-touch, Bible-thumping parents they are. Aside from stupid people trying to be insightful or profound, there is actually literally nothing funnier than yesterday's edgy counterculture icons acting like grumpy old farts. That's why, in the amazing, super expensive-looking video for the new Insane Clown Posse song, Miracles, which you should totally check out online, they deliver the entire song from a top their magical juggalo observatory in space while dropping lines like this. Magic everywhere in this bitch. <laughs> it's everywhere in this bitch. It certainly what is. What more can you say? Don't worry about Insane Clown Posse, though. They don't need Edge because now they've got a juggalo army made of people like this guy. It would have been like 16 hours, but I got lost and sidetracked and then the ADD kicked in, so it was like 16 to 20 hours. The ADD kicked in. That's from. Uh, that's actually from a, a, a short documentary um, that somebody made about the 2009 gathering of the Jugglers, which you can also look at online. In conclusion, if Insane Clown Posse changed their name to reflect their new sound and fan base, they'd probably be called Decrepit Clown Overlords. Max, thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. For once again, bringing us the A to Z of shit music. That was I... Getting, what is it up to like? That's like the ninth letter of the alphabet. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not like it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's we're, we're over a third of the way through. <laughs> I'm excited about J next.